What's up guys, it's Sunday morning. I just brewed a fresh pot of coffee and I wanna do a quick book review. You're looking at Bill Bowerman's biography written by Kenny Moore, one of his former runners, and Phil Knight's recently released memoir. Now, these books are very thick, somewhat intimidating, and not really for everybody. But I wanna show you a book that is for everybody. Check this out. It's called The Waffle Story. You can see I've got six copies right here. I love to buy this book in bulk and give them away as gifts to parents expecting babies, parents with young kids, and businesses that sell waffles. This is a children's book called The Waffle Story, How Wendy the Waffle Iron Changed the World, and it's about how Bill Bowerman used his wife's waffle iron to create Nike's first big innovation, the Waffle Soul. The book was written by Natalie Kerrigan and Ray Schilling, first came out in 2010, and Natalie and Ray were Nike employees at the time. So let's open it up and check it out. You'll see right here, the thought to create a children's version of the Nike Waffle Story was to inspire children to act on their curiosity and to encourage them to think differently. This story was also written to celebrate Bill Bowerman's life and ensure that his spirit continues to challenge individuals to reach their true potential. The book was dedicated to Barbara Bowerman, who passed away in May of 2010, and actually the very first printing of this book was also in 2010. So let's open it up and check it out. You'll see Wendy the Waffle Iron, very cute that Natalie and Ray named the Waffle Iron Wendy. And right here you can see Barbara Bowerman buying the waffle iron new and bringing it home. Over here, the waffle iron made friends with the blender and other kitchen appliances. Here you can see the mixer. Now, actually, waffles were only made in the Bowerman house on Sunday, so Wendy the waffle iron and the mixer had to wait and plot during the week. Here you can see they're actually figuring out how they're gonna make the perfect waffles on Sunday. Life was going great, until one Sunday morning when Bill Bowerman got this great idea and took the waffle iron. And you can see that the other kitchen appliances are very upset about it. And Bowerman started tinkering with the waffle iron in his garage by pouring rubber and urethane and other compounds in there to try to create waffle soles for his shoes. You can see now Wendy is in the garage with a bunch of tools instead of in the kitchen. Over here you can see that Wendy eventually got put away in a box and buried. And here's Bill continuing to perfect his waffle outsoles. And Bill and Phil take over the world with their waffle soled shoes. And look at this, Wendy the Waffle Iron was actually uncovered and now lives enshrined in Prefontaine Hall at Nike World Headquarters. Actually, Wendy the Waffle Iron was buried for more than 40 years before being uncovered. Here's a picture of Prefontaine Hall right here. You can see the wafflestory.com. If you want to purchase copies of this book, Go check out the wafflestory.com. They're available online for purchase. And I'm going to do a giveaway with these six copies on Instagram later today. But anyway, it's been a pleasure walking you through the Waffle Story, one of my favorite Nike books.